Oh, yeah. Look, just really quickly, I'm just... I will keep you posted. OK, cheers, mate. What did he want? Danny Pedant's alibi's checked out. He's been in my bed for weeks. He's just starting some other stuff. Right, I'm going to go get some air. Hang on. Peter, I am 45, OK? If I want to leave a house on my own, OK. I'll see you later. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have come. No, it's not you. You won't talk to me or Denise. You wouldn't even let us open the curtains yesterday. Well, I wouldn't normally barge in. It's just... I've had clients ringing me all morning and I can't find the contact list anywhere. I just thought Lucy might have had one. You're starting the business back up. Listen, I'm going to go. There must be a contact list somewhere, though. Does it help? Going back to work? Getting out there again? I don't know. I hope so. Oh, Lord. I think I should set a car keys on about it. Dad, I've got my own business to worry about. Hmm, there's an email here from, from a bloke talking about the Wolfwood Common Flats. Cos I was meant to go meet him on Good Friday. But I never made it. Yeah, so what? Well, this email says that he's there and he's asking where I am. So what if Lucy saw this and, and she replied to it instead? Yeah, what well, if she didn't? I mean, you're only guessing, aren't you? Well, surely I need to go to the police about this. I mean, this John Jones bloke could have been the last person to see Lucy no, alive. Well, the police must have been all through her emails. They're probably right across that. <sighs> yeah, but what if they're not? Ian? Are you all right? You look freezing. Denise and Peter keep calling. I should go, but... I can't face it. You know what? She had 60 or more years in front of her. Why not me? Why not someone who's had a life? I don't know. You know, the um, police keep coming around, keeping us informed. But I just wish they'd admit they're looking for a needle in a haystack. I mean, all it could take is just one little piece of information and that would be that.